time. It is two minutes after the top there. It was a late night uh, nail biter, but the House health care bill passed by just a couple of votes. In the run up to Saturday's vote, top Republican leaders made one major promise to the protesters on Capitol Hill. I will guarantee you that we are committed to making sure that not one Republican will vote for this bill. But one lone Republican broke ranks and did vote in favor of the House bill. That was Joe Gao of Louisiana, and he joins us now live from New Orleans. Good morning to you, Congressman. Uh, good morning. You were the lone Republican who voted for this bill. I understand that you represent a heavily Democratic area of New Orleans down in Louisiana. I understand the politics behind it, but do you understand the bipartisanship of this bill? Do you consider it to be bipartisan now because one Republican voted for it? Uh, whether or not the the, um, the vote is a bipartisan vote or whether or not the bill is a bipartisan bill uh, is of, uh, of little relevance to me. Uh, my duty as a U.S. Congressman uh, is to represent my people um, and I have to not do the politics as usual and to do the work of the people and that's what my my constituents down here, that's what they voted for, they voted me in office to do. And in fact, uh, Congressman, while your district is heavily Democratic, your district also has a lot of poor people who don't have any insurance and if there were some sort of government-run health insurance something, uh, it would help your people. Ultimately, is that why you voted for it? Uh, yes, uh, my district uh, was devastated by Katrina. Uh, four years after Katrina, we are still struggling to, to recover. Uh, four, out of, four or five out of, out of every people here, about 20 to, to, to 25 percent, are uninsured. Uh, we are one of the unhealthiest states uh, in the country, so I believe that it was necessary to vote for this bill in order to push for health care reform down here at the district. Mm -hmm. How do you put the two things together in your head then, being a Republican who would be against uh, putting the country into uh, forever debt, who would be against a ton of spending? How do you rationalize that in your head then, and, and why wouldn't you run as a Democrat? Well, uh, I have a, a, a constitutional duty to represent uh, my people down here at the district uh, as, as long as uh, my vote will not go against my own uh, moral conscience. Uh, I believe that my vote was a vote of conscience. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I believe that it was the right vote uh, for the people here uh, down at the district. Um, whether or not it was a popular vote with the party is of uh, little, rel little relevance to mm -hmm. me and I've made other decisions sure. that have not been very popular in the district but my duty down here uh, is to make the right decisions uh, for my people down here so that's what I've been doing. And Congressman, how much contact did you have with the President of the United States? This is obviously his domestic uh, priority number one. How many times did he reach out to you? Um, we spoke uh, for a period of, of a couple of weeks. Well, uh, his staff and I, we spoke on, on a number of occasions. And then on Saturday at around noon time, uh, he, he gave me a call uh, mm -hmm. and we were able to sit down to talk about the recovery, to talk about the needs of the district. And uh, we were trying to, at least I was trying to encourage, encourage him to continue working with us to push forward the recoveries. Um, the administration and I, we have had a very great relationship uh, and I was just trying to encourage the president right. to keep so, on so, working So just with real me. quickly, Congressman, uh, because he sincerely needed your vote on this as the only Republican, what did he promise you in return? Well, there were no promises uh, actually made. Uh, we were discussing uh, just the recovery and the willingness to work with one another in order to push forward all the recovery issues that we have down here. All right. Uh, Congressman uh, Joseph Gao, we thank you very much for joining us today from New Orleans. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now with Fox News Alert Authority.